Good morning! It's day eight of Vlogmas. Let's open up the advents. Today we have cheese, day seven and eight, because I forgot yesterday. And I already found them. So day seven is Mediterranean Gouda, which I think we've had. Tomato, herbs, and spices. I can't wait for that. I'm starving. I haven't had lunch yet. It's not quite morning yet. Day eight is, oh, it's a soft cheese. Edam. Creamy and buttery Dutch Edam with a fresh young flavor. We don't have tea today. So there's that. Where's Jesus? On the eighth, we have somebody, Jesus maybe, and a sheep or a lamb. After me come he who is mightier than I, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Okay, got that. Sarah. Should we open a bag? Let's open a little bag today. The question is, and I got to go slower to give you guys a chance. It says, oh, hold on, I need trash. According to the song, what did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? On this first day of Christmas, when you're looking at me, a partridge in a pear tree, fit five golden rings, six geese a laying, eight maids of milking, eight maids of milking. <laughs> we got trivia. Oh, I got, I got another pair of socks over here. I can see them. What's this? Oh, it's that. I don't know. I got all these advents. Eight maids of milk and seven swans of swimming. Six geese a laying. Five golden rings. What is this snack? Oh, peanut. Oh, tahini chili lime peanuts. Yum. I need these. Sarah's always gives me a good snack. Let's try this Edam together, shall we? While I think about what's next, which I know what's next. Crochet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Soft. Yummy. Gotta move that and that. My brother and his sis his wife, I'm his sister. My brother and his wife are here. So he's putting his bio freeze in the middle of my advent. Jay. I really gotta get a move on these crochets. Ooh, we've got three colors of yarn today. <gasps> We're gonna make a Christmas ornament. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to make that. That'll be fun. I figure if these go after Christmas, that's okay. I'll just work on them until they're done. I will definitely be doing that. So I've got a bunch of littles to make. And then this is day eight. Mm. By the way, this cheese is good. I told you I'm hungry. I've been busy today. And I'm almost completely caught up with this advent. I'll get it out and show it to you here in a minute, what I've been working on. Okay. Mm -mm. Sommelier. I don't know what that is, but it's a red. Like a really pretty burgundy. And we've got good color today. we got good light. Is that like a wine specialist? December 8th, it's time for a little music again. I hope you'll enjoy today's offering. Pictured above is a scathing peasant by Peter Johns. Quest from around 1634, 1638. When I was young, I learned to skate on exactly this type of wooden skate. The metal skate is set in a wooden platform, which is then tied with ribbons to your regular shoes. All you need now need is a frozen river to skate on. I don't know, Jacob. 
And today, okay, we're moving down the sides and across the bottom. So I think we found the bottom. I probably won't do the middle stitching. There's some more out in the middle of nowhere stitching. Oh, and in here, and I think that's it. Yeah, we have a fair amount of stitching today. I know, and a new color. You know what, let me go grab my stitching and I'll show you where I'm at. I'm back. I ate the other piece of cheese too. It was good. All right, so this is where I'm at on this cross stitch. And what I haven't done is right here in the middle, there's a date and a couple what look like angel wings. Today we're going down this side and then some a little bit in the middle. So I'll go down both sides. A little of this red goes in here. I may not do the across the middle, but I'll definitely get the two sides done. But this is what it looks like so far. It's really pretty. There'll be 25 colors in it, and every day we get a different piece of the puzzle. That's what I've been doing. I can't show you the pattern, but every day we get a new color and another piece of the puzzle. So that's exciting. I'll do that this afternoon. Oh, the variation in here. I wanted to show you what else I've been working on. Um, because I have company, I haven't been doing too terribly much. But I got this yarn at Hobby Lobby, and it's scrubby yarn, like dish scrubby yarn. They have two different kinds. There's this, which is a solid. It's like a worsted weight, almost chunky thickness. And it's got um, like a silver scrubby metal through it. So I'm making for my family and friends, dish scrubber. So I'm just stitching circles. And I actually used one for about a week before I decided to make it for everybody and it works really well. So you can get it wet, put soap on it, and it's abrasive and it scrubs your dishes. I wouldn't use it on your body. I mean, I guess you could, but I wouldn't. And so I just have been crocheting circles and now I need to get my needle out from day two where I keep it stored. So I can weave in the ends if I can find my needle, which apparently is not in day two. Did I put it in day one maybe? Great. I don't know where I put my needle. Hmm. I'll have to find my needle. Three maybe? With the Christmas tree? No, I swear I put it away. Questionable, but it's somewhere. I need to do this later. Maybe tonight I'll sit around the fire. My brother and his wife are gone for the day, so they won't be home till late tonight. Huh, I'll find it. But anyway, I need to sew in these little strings and finish this off. And yeah, they work out great. And it's just a circle crochet. I'm even using the hook from my Woobles kit. And it's just six in a magic loop, double stitch a double in each of the six so I get 12 and then it's one single a double single double all the way around and then it's two single and a double for two rows and you get this size and once it gets wet it'll lay flat but yeah I love these so I have one five so far I made two different sizes just because so these are a little smaller just with your fingertips and this is just a little bigger and um, because it's not cotton, there might be some cotton on the inside, but the outside is definitely not cotton. So it doesn't stretch out out of shape and it dries quickly. So yeah, I'm making these. All right, that is everything for uh, my advent calendars and my little bit of crafting. I'm gonna record now a Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby TJ Maxx haul, but I have to run some errands first. So let's go do errands and then we'll come back and see what we get up to. We just went to CVS. I had a 30% off coupon, so I bought some fire logs. And I actually went in to get Sudafed, but the pharmacy is not open. CVS is ridiculous, in case you guys didn't know. Mine, anyway, is closed an hour for lunch. They're only open at 9 a.m. to like 7 p.m. Whatever. I need Sudafed. But I've been obsessed with these little elf blind bags. I have Jim Dandy 
and I have Samson the dog. But I need Elf, or I'd really like to get Newsy Noel. But I don't, I've only ever seen them here. And this is the last one I see at this store. So it's probably a short lived adventure for me. But we got, oh, I don't know who it is. Scout F Elf Joe. So we got Scout Elf Joe. They're so adorable. If I see more, I'll get more, but. They're just cute. I don't know. I have a little shelf for them. Um, also, my mile long receipt. Nothing exciting. Now we're going to Marshall's. I'm looking for some little holiday decor for our dinner tomorrow night. Um, and then I'm going into Joann's because I have a $5 reward off of $5 and I can't let that go to waste water and with my Christmas straw and a Halloween cup where else are we going oh honey baked ham I gotta get ham and turkey for tomorrow I think I'm gonna get um sliced ham sliced turkey then what is that I was at Starbucks this morning and my Starbucks Again, it's kind of a disaster, the one by me. It's always slower than Moses. I mean, like, slow. Always, always, always wait. And I knew going in, if I'm in a hurry, I just don't go there. But I had time, so I ran in this morning to get coffee on my way to run some errands. And I guess it was the manager who helped me, and she was like, hey, we're putting on some coffee to brew. I'm like, perfect. I said, but I'll take a, they were brewing pike. And I'm like, well, I'll take a blonde. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So she's like, okay, and then she makes it and brings it over and hands me this $4 gift card. The next one is on us, it says. So I get a free coffee because I had to wait. I'm like, well, look at you trying to fix things around here. That's great. Excuse me, my water is not settling. I also have some Powerade Zero to drink. I got my blood work done yesterday and one of my markers came back that I'm a little dehydrated. Yes, because I drink coffee most days, all day. But I've got to start drinking more water, so, or hydration type stuff. So I have water and some Powerade. Let's go to Joanne and see what we can find to spend $5 on. And the Marshalls. Okay, I'm back from the store. I'm back from Joanne, and I wanted to show you what I got. They had a couple sales. I couldn't use my $5 reward, which was weird, but whatever. They had buttons and zippers, buy three, get three free. So I got four zippers, navy blue, no, royal blue, Yale blue, pink, navy, and this mint. I needed zippers, I always need zippers. I always get the 22 inch because then I can make them smaller. Then I got two packs of buttons. I got these because I think they'll be fun for Christmas time. Just different buttons. I got these for a reason. A friend of mine wants a cow um, needle. One of the counting pins that I make, but I can't find a cow bead. So I got a cow button and I'm gonna make it work. So this is just Sorry for the glare. This is just a pack of farm animal buttons. I want a pig and a sheep. I'll make them all, but the cow is for a friend. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up for crafting. If you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I got the Barbies that I'm going to make the Christmas tree deal. And so I picked these up for 99 cents and they're just a little jar of miniature pom-poms. I'll use them for that, but they're just tiny and that's what I needed. And then for cross stitch, this is a jar of little sequins, but in the, sh I don't know if you can see it, in the shape of snowflakes in here. So what I can do when I make I'm gonna try to take this, open this up. When I make my ornaments, right? Cause I like to do that. 
I can decorate them. So I got two different things. Maybe. I was going to try to show one to you. They're just... Nope. They're just sequins. But they are in the shape of snowflakes. And they're silver. Let's see if I can get this open. I think I can or not. I think I'm going to have to get some scissors out here. Maybe. Oh, hey, maybe, maybe. I'm trying to get the plastic up. I'm also burning a pine candle and a peppermint candle. It's my favorite combination. Ugh. All right. Well, here we go. Okay. I got it. I got it. Sorry. It took so long. Done. These are little cork bottle glasses. I feel like they had these at Target a few years back with different things in them. All that so I can pull out a couple sequins to show you. But what I like about them for my cross stitch is they have a hole in the middle and I can hold them on with a bead. Ooh, well, they're just tiny, tiny. <laughs> They're just tiny little sequins in the shape of a um, snowflake. I was trying to stick it to my finger so you could see it. This is not working. I hope. It's just a little tiny sequins, guys. Never mind. Don't bother me. Don't mind me. But they're just little sequins. And what I could do is like a cross stitch. And then I got, in the last two things... In the children's like crafty stuff are six millimeter little jingle bells. And listen, these are like copper or brass kind of vintagey, and these are the silver, and they're just little jingle bells. And they're six millimeter, which means I can put them on my cross stitch as well for decoration. But these I love. And what I'll do is take a little white seed bead and put it in the middle, stitch it on, and it will hold the snowflakes on there. So that's everything I got at Joanne. I'm going to ready to film a video of everything I got at TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and the Dollar Tree this week. So that'll be up probably on Wednesday. All right, guys, have a good one. I will see you on Saturday. Bye.